when Allah Almighty tells us that he has favored us and he has given us he tells us if you try and count the favors I have blessed you with we challenge you you will never be able to count them never we challenge you more than once in the Quran, Allah says, if you are going to count the favors of Allah upon you, you are never going to be able to count them all. It's impossible. That's a challenge from Allah. So start counting. Let's check the list. Every day you'll be writing more and more things until the day you die. You keep on writing and there'll still be things you've left out. But guess what? The opposite is true. If you are trying to count the tests that Allah put in your life, you will be able to count them. If I ask you, how many problems do you have in your life? I swear you will put up a list of 10 things. Say, these are my problems. I'm finished. My life is over. Look at this. Three things have gone wrong in my life. Three things. Come on, man. Think about it. Have you ever thought that the tests that Allah puts in your life, he counts them. They just counted. There are a number of them. That's it. You can count them. I promise you, all of you and me too. But when Allah gives you, he says that you won't be able to count. But man becomes depressed over that which he can count that is negative over and above that which he cannot count, which is positive. La ilaha illallah. Where are we? Thank Allah. Turn to Allah. Appreciate him. Praise him. Continue to praise him because he teaches us the way to, gra to be granted increase in goodness is to show gratitude and thankfulness, not just by your mouth, but by your actions, your deeds, your worship, and ultimately your repentance. May Allah Almighty forgive our shortcomings for indeed we are human beings. We falter.